Yo, welcome back to Learning Watercolor with your host, Forty. So a couple things today, guys. First thing, I switched my paper, huh? I got the arches. Uh, the, uh, well, anyways, I got all three, the rough grain, the hot press, the cold press. And today we are trying out the rough grain. For sure, I could tell a difference, huh? The other thing you might notice is I uh, wet the paper twice here, and that's because I forgot to lay out my colors. This for sure is important with watercolor, and I need to get used to doing that before I start uh, getting ready to paint, etc. is just figure out what colors I'm gonna use, lay them out, etc. at least especially when I do what I'm wet, which is what's happening right now, right? So I thought, hey, Let's make this sky. I'm using a reference photo. You may have spotted it in the beginning, but you will for sure see it at the end. And it's basically this cool sky with a hot air balloon and a city below, right? So for the uh, for the sky, what I did is I transitioned from a turquoise blue to an indigo blue, and I've got some yellow and purples. And on the brown, uh, on, on the brown, on the bottom, I decided to use a Van Dyke brown mixed with some orange. And then we did different variations of gray, black, some, some grayish blue, uh, I added some oranges, etc. And then I hit it with some black little squiggly lines and that's to signify a city or some kind of uh, urban background, right? The point is, it's off in the distance, you're not focusing on it, you wouldn't see the details, bada bing bada boom, right? <laughs> Next, I decided to layer in some clouds, right? And by layer, I don't think if you do in one pass, you can't paint good looking clouds, right? So I came first with some diluted gouache, right? And that the reason that you can tell it's diluted is because when it dries right here with the heat gun, is it's quite uh, transparent, almost like watercolor. And that's because I added quite a bit of water. On the bottom, I'm adding that same transparent gouache and then hitting it with the paper towel because I'm trying to make it look like a fog or, a, yeah, I guess a fog, right? Or a mist or enough. Anyway, so we came back to the clouds. We hit it with some blue, as bluish grays, some some grays, etc. Because the more of these different colors in the clouds, I think the more realistic they become. Now, granted, I'm putting it throughout the cloud, and maybe just highlighting different edges, etc., would have been better. But so far, I like the way these clouds turned out, and I'm okay with it, right? After I finished the clouds, I said, "Hey, let's draw or paint in that hot air balloon." And guys. By the way, before I forget, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video with your friends. It helps out immensely. So uh, let me ask you guys this. What would you have done? For me, I didn't leave the area blank that I was going to paint the, the hot air balloon. What I did is I hit it with a thin or a, a diluted layer of white gouache so that the colors on top would pop and that it would be separate from that background. huh? Obviously, if I had left it blank to begin with, then uh, then I wouldn't have had to hit it with the gouache, right? And I think that's probably the way that watercolor artists usually attack this. However, you know, I, I'm just, it's hard to get rid of old habits, right? And so here I've hit it with a few different colors. You notice that the yellow looks a little washed out. So I clean up my wells there and I say, hey, let's grab some yellow gouache um, and hit that over. And just because the yellow watercolor mixed with that white gouache just wasn't popping enough for me, right? Plus uh, right now I hit it with some lettering and then I, I add the logo that was from the reference. And it's not exact, huh? I'm not really worried about that because I know I'm gonna outline this and that's another thing I don't see a lot of watercolor artists do is outline stuff. But of course, you know, one of my specialties in acrylic is pop art and pop art tends to be outlined because it's in your face, it's supposed to stand out and maybe I need to shake that habit in watercolor, right? I added some little lines here and there to kind of make the it look like that balloon was folding or worn in certain areas. I made sure there were different colors in the basket because there's no way it would just be one. I hit it with a heat gun several times and I signed it uh, with a Posca marker. Obviously, I could have grabbed the white gouache and used the uh, uh, paintbrush, but I thought real quick, easy, with the marker, etc. right? Hit it with a heat gun and I said, you know what, I think we're probably done. One of the things that I noticed is this nicer paper, the tape sticks even more to the cotton paper, huh? What do you guys think? Now you can see the reference photo. I think we're definitely making progress. My skills are increasing in watercolor. I definitely like the way this turned out. If you guys do this, please share in the comments a link so we can check it out and share the video with your friends, guys. Please, it helps out so much. Until next time, I'm out.